We now move on to the new module, the next module, that is module three, similarity. Now you might recall, you must have, you had studied this in your last grade as well, grade nine. Now we will add on to what we have studied. The first few lessons are very, very simple. The first lesson over here is dilation. Dilation is something that changes. Now let's see the learning objectives. It is to use scale factor to calculate the dimension of dilated image and to represent dilation or dilation as functions and find the scale factors of dilations. Um, you can pronounce it as dilation as well or generally it's dilation. Now scale factor is something which is very important. We will look into this. We will look into both of the objectives. I will show you a figure and then I'll tell you these. What does it mean? Before that, the keywords are non-rigid motion, dilation, center of dilation, scale factor of dilation, enlargement, reduction. There are plenty of new words. We'll come across all of these. Now here, lots of writing about dilation, but just let's look at these two figures here for a minute. Now, if these two, now imagine this was the original figure. You want the same figure, but in a smaller size. Say, for example, uh, you want to reduce this image. You can dilate this. Now, when you dilate something, all these sides will be dilated accordingly in the sense. Now, you have this as 6 centimeter. I want to dilate into 50% of its original uh, size. So this will be 3. Now, imagine this was, uh, say, 7 and this was 5 which is not true but anyways this would be 3.5 and this would be 2.5 every side will be accurately dilated so this is the concept of dilation now you can find the uh, relation between two of these sides and you can compare the other two sides because they too must follow the same relationship that is the main concept here now here that is about dilation and um, we enlargement and reduction are two important things what you must know if the original image is uh, you know dilated to a bigger image now here this is a reduction you can see the original images abc and this is reduced this is reduction but whereas if this was becoming more big say imagine this was becoming like this then that would be enlargement. We will look into this problem and solve this. Determine whether the dilation from triangle ABC to DEF is an enlargement or a reduction and then find the scale factor of the dilation, dilation. So now, first of all, looking at this, you can tell it's an enlargement, right? Looking at this, just so you can tell that's a enlargement. Okay, over here, it's not mentioned exactly, but Oh, sorry, I'm not talking about enlargement. It's a reduction. Uh, my bad. So you can see it's a big one. It's reduced. And over here it is the reduction. Just by looking at it. But how do you find the scale factor? You must make sure one of the same sides must be given. I can't use this side and this side over here. No, that would not give me the scale factor. Look, this is a straight line and this is the line. These both lines just write the sizes you can write this first or this first uh, now here there is one important thing you can't write anything first you need to always write the um you know the dilated image and the original image that's the pre-image so whenever you find the scale factor this is very very important what is the dilated image here they have mentioned Determine whether C from ABC to DEF. That means DEF is the dilated image and ABC is the original image. So which is the dilated image here? DEF, right? So here, make sure you write this size first divided by the original side. Always the original will be in the denominator. If you write this other way around, it's entirely wrong. I hope this is clear. I'll repeat again. Here in the question they have mentioned, Determine whether the dilation is from ABC from ABC to DEF. That means ABC is original, original, and this is dilated. Okay. Now here, whenever you find the ratio, it is always the ratio of the uh, dilated image to the original image. So that is two by six. That's it. If it was big over here, and imagine this was ten, then it would be ten by six. Now, whenever you do the ratio dilated by original, see what you get. If you put in calculator, you will get one thirds or 0 0.6, uh, sorry, 0 
Now, whenever the ratio is less than 1, that means it's a reduction. Where it's greater than 1, it would be a enlargement. Now, this is a reduction 1 by 3. Now, here, there are a few things which, uh, which can be always remembered. You, you can see they have given you these things, right? D, A, B, C, and D, F. Now, let's look closely. A, B, C. The order is very important and D, E, F. Now, which are the corresponding sides? A, B, and D from the figure, but you can also get it from the given question. See the triangle. Since they are uh, dilated, you can see the first two. If you consider the line A, B, they correspond to which line over here? The first two here, D, E. If you take the last two, B, C, must correspond to E, F. And if it's A, C, it must correspond to D, F. C, D, and F, last one. So why I'm telling you this is, it's very crucial to know A, C. Sorry, this is A, C. A, B, where is A, B? This is 6 centimeter, right? What about D, E? This is 2 and they both are corresponding. Yes. What about B, C? B, C to E, F. And what about A, C? to D, F. This is the thing. So whichever, if this is first, we are the first one. These two points are corresponding, middle, middle, and so on. So this is the concept. Now over here, please do try this by yourself. It's very, very simple. You have to just determine whether this, this is an enlargement or reduction. Looking at it, you can tell this is a reduction. Look, the original was big. This is small now. So answer one is reduction over here. But what is the scale factor? It's always this. The delete, dilated image divided by the original image, it's 4 by 7. If put in calculator, you'll just get this. So let's keep it as it is. It's 4 by 7. So these are the answers. Now let's see over here. Jalal is printing a banner for a school's wheelchair tennis team based uh, on the design shown. Okay. So by what person should Jalal enlarge his design so that the dimensions of the banner are five times that of the original design? What will be the dimensions of the banner? So this is very uh, important because they have not given you scale factors or anything. They have given you times, five times. Now, five times means, now imagine if you had a, a dimension of one centimeter, five times would be five centimeter, right? Five centimeter. You're increasing it by how much? Five times. It's 500% increase. So basically, you can just multiply this by 5. Well, let's see over here. They have told the scale factor over here, banner by 5 times. That is the scale factor, basically. Okay? They're not giving you exactly this is the scale factor or something. Just 5 times means the scale factor is 500%. Or you can just consider it to be 5 because 500% is 5. Right? Divide by 100, you'll get 5. Now, here, what you need to find the dimensions. That's what he has told, right? They have told. So just multiply each of this dimension into 5. So 6 into 5 over here, you will get 30. And what about this? Times 5, you will get 14, 140 by 2 is 70. So these are the dimensions. So you can see 70, 30 inches over here and 70 inches. So the banner will be 30 inches by 70 inches. That's it. So this is how we can solve it. Now please do try this by yourself and then we will solve it up together. Now here, Natalia wants to print an enlarged family portrait of her mother. By what person should Natalia enlarge the portrait so that the dimension of this image are 2.5 times that of the original? What will be the dimension of the enlarged portrait? Now basically, they want to enlarge this portrait by 2.5 times. Now instead of all the... It's, it's so simple. Just multiply this by 2.5 and 2.5. That's it. So here it'll be 1836 and plus 9, that will be 45. 45 is this dimension. If you multiply by 2.5, here it'll be 24, 48, 58, 60. So these are the dimensions. That's it. Okay. So the enlarged images will be. Okay. Now they have told you uh, the options, sorry. The options are. Let's see where is 45 over here and 60. But now they have told how many times? 2.5 times. That means multiply this by 100, you'll get 250%. It's not this answer. It's this answer. 45 by 60, but it's 250%. Why? Because it's 2.5.
In the last case, it was 5 times, so it was 500 percent. Here, 2.5 means 250 percent. Whatever the scale factor is given, multiplied by 100. That is the percent. Now, that's that's how we can solve basic problems. Now, what about the coordinate parts? Now, here, if they have given you coordinate system, then you just have to know the x, y values and multiply the scale factor accordingly, you will get the dilated image. So we'll see a problem. This is very, very simple. Now, here they have told triangle TRS has vertices T, Q, R and S they have given over here. Negative 4, comma, negative 5, 0, 6, 4, 3. Find the coordinate of the vertices of tri triangle T dash, R dash, S dash. Now, a dilated image is given as dash. Now, original image is given as TRS, right? If you have done any changes, it will be like this, okay? So now, triangle TRS by the scale factor half, 1 by 2. So what do you do? Here, uh, you need to just multiply. That's it. See, the original images are there, uh, coordinates are there, right? Just multiply half. So basically, you're just multiplying half everywhere, all the points. That's it. And you will get the answer. So let's see over here. You need to just multiply half. The K is the scale factor, right? Multiply everywhere. The original was negative 4 and negative 5. So multiply half in both the sides. You will get negative 2 and negative 2.5. Same thing here. It will be 0 and 3. Why? Because half times 0 is 0. Half times 6 is 3. And 4 and 3 becomes 2 and 1.5. That's it. That's the answer. Because they have just told you to find the coordinates. Nothing else. Very simple. Very straightforward. The new dilated image would have these coordinates. See? This, this and this. Now then, we have a check problem. Please pause the video and try this by yourselves. Because this is so simple and so easy. Just like what we had done a while ago in the last problem. Here the scale factor is more than 1. That's an enlargement. It's 4. So all you need to do is multiply 4 everywhere. 3 times 4. How much is it? 3 times 4 is 12. And over here 4 times 4 is 16. But it's minus so negative 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 4 is 32. And lastly negative 8. So these are the answers for the new dilated image. So that will be given as dash. Very easy again. And now we'll go to this problem here. Oh, the animations are missing. One minute. So here we go. The triangle A dash B dash C dash is the image of ABC after dilation. Find the scale factor of the dilation. So this is the image after dilation. This is the original image. Now over here, all you need to do is find the scale factors. Now, there's one more thing you must always remember. This original image is called as pre-image, right? This dash one is the dilated image. Looking at them, you can understand it's an enlargement. But now we, we need to find the scale factor, the scale factor. So what do you do? It's not easy to count out, right? Because they're all slanted. It's not flat. If it is flat, you can easily count them out. But how would you do it now? Now, look carefully. You know the coordinates for all these points because it's a coordinate plane. So from here 0, 2, 0, minus 3 and um, sorry, minus 3, 0. You can find the coordinates, isn't it? Let's find the coordinates and then find using the distance formula. Say to find the, we need to just compare the lengths and that's how we find the scale factor, right? Let's find any two of the corresponding sides. Now, since over here they have mentioned this A, B, now A dash, B dash. Those are corresponding. You can consider AB and A dash B dash. Or you can take AC, A dash C dash, or CB or C dash B dash. Anything up to you. So all you need to do is see the coordinates over here. A is given as negative 3, minus 1, 2, 3, 0. And what is the value of B? B is 0, X is 0, Y is 1, 2, 2. So same thing with A dash B dash over here. A dash would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But it's in the left side, so it's minus 9 and 0, and it's 0 and 6. Now, why it's good to take 0, A, and A, da a dash, B dash, and A and B? Because you have a 0 here. The calculations will be easier because it's on the uh, X and Y axis. Whenever you are points on the axis, it's easier.
So all you need to do is find the lengths of the corresponding sides. Now what happens? You need to find the distance formula to find them. A, see, you have the coordinates, right? Just apply distance formula. That is square root of x2 minus x1 plus uh, the whole square plus y2 minus y1, the whole square. It is like this x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square okay this is the formula here x1 y1 x2 y2 you can even consider the second point to be x1 y1 answer will be same now solve it x2 is 0 minus of minus 3 the whole square and 2 minus 0 the whole square same thing uh, just put it in the calculator you'll get the answer it's root 13 same thing is done over here what happens it is 0 minus of minus 9 6 minus 0 the whole square the answer is root 117 now you got the lens that's good but what is remaining you need to find the scale factor right which is the dilated image this one this is the length the root 117 original image sorry it's so here root 117 original image root 13 divide root 117 by 13 and you will get the answer just to find the scale factor just divide them out one root 117 divided by root 13 what is the answer in the calculator you can directly get three so the scale factor is three the dilation scale factor now you can see the original image the pre-image was a small image you're multiplied by a factor of three and you have got the new dilated image that's the answer so there's a check problem you can do it by yourselves i will quickly um, tell you there's a simple way to do this instead of all the you know distance formula and everything there's a flat line straight line right so what you do is count the measurement one two three four five six this is six this is one two now the original image the pre-image is def okay this is the dash is the you know image after dilation so what is the value of the dilated image two divided by six the answer must be one by three that is the scale factor very very simple just by counting the coordinate plane and that's it that's the end of this lesson this is a very simple and easy lesson in fact this whole chapter is very easy because you have already studied a few of the concepts in the previous grade and it'll be just like a easy lesson a easy chapter to be honest but keep in mind the concept of these are very important as you carry on in the next grades and the terms so you know try to recall this lesson by yourself try to solve more problems by yourself and if you have any doubts please post them in the comment section and uh, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to it it would mean so much to me thank you so much and please do stay tuned for the next video bye bye till then